These guys have a plan, a big plan. They want to turn this into this. Gateway South, designed to make St. Louis to the construction industry what Silicon Valley is to tech. Phase one will take on the redevelopment of the old Crundon Martin buildings south of the Arch and the Poplar Street Bridge. The first thing is that you're not tearing these, these old buildings down, right? Correct. I mean, how important is that to give this, uh, this project an identity? I think it's uh, extremely important. I think from a design standpoint, even utilizing the existing structures and integrating the history and nature of um, the aesthetic and... That's Greg Gleischer, CEO of Good Developments Group, a 32-year-old Wash U grad who's already done real estate development in New York. Chauncey Nelson is a St. Louisan. His job is lining up the tenants, getting signatures on leases, or at least on letters of intent. Tenants that will make this into what's being called a construction innovation capital. Companies that will focus on modernizing the construction industry with new technologies, logistics, and job training. And nearby, there would be manufacturing of modular buildings and building components that can be shipped around the country. Are you getting interest? Are you getting people saying, hey, put me on the list? Oh, definitely, definitely. So we've had uh, multiple people who have signed LOIs and just waiting for us to finish um, and get to a certain stage in the, in the redevelopment to sign those hard leases. Um, we have some people that already have, have went to hard leases and expectations that they'll be moving in to, uh, to, lo to locate here sooner than later. This is not like other projects that just turn old warehouses or office buildings into lofts or hotels. The plans do include residential and retail development here, but this is about returning this part of the riverfront to its manufacturing roots. Yeah, I mean, these buildings are essentially the, the epicenter of what made St. Louis an uh, import-export city in the first place, right? In 1876, where the arch is now, the levee, the main riverboat landing, this was the heart of the local economy. It was further south towards Shoto that you'd find mills and meat packers, factories, and also schools and churches and residences. But over the years, it became increasingly more industrial. And when the riverfront was cleared in the 1930s, there was still plenty of manufacturing going on to the south. One of the biggest factories, Crundon Martin, which over the years made all kinds of products out of wood and metal, everything from kites to refrigerators. During the war, helmets. But by the end of the century, this area would be a symbol of a Rust Belt city's changing economy. There was always the question, though, what if? What if somebody could do something with it? And maybe it took a younger guy to think differently, to think of creating an innovation district. Think Cortex, focusing not on science, but on the construction industry of all things. Um, in this particular area, the hub will be more focused on educational space, R&D space, um, really space to test and um, try new means and methods for the design and construction industry as a whole. And then further south, have more of a, a manufacturing and production focus. Um, we're looking at 2025, initial completion and you know, moving in of the various different companies that will be operating out of the district. And then the overall time frame is somewhere around 10 years. And yes, we've all seen architectural renderings of projects that never got off the ground or even close to phase two. On the other hand, you can also point to Cortex and the Foundry, and neither of those is a neighbor of the Gateway Arch, which Greg Gleischer reminds us was a modular structure made in pieces that were shipped here for assembly. And a big part of the plan here is to manufacture building components and distribute them by rail, highway, and of course, the Mississippi River. Because I imagine a lot of building components are big, Absolutely. could go on barges. Yes. Absolutely, it's um, more cost effective, more sustainable, yeah. um, and it's overall such a valuable asset to have. Gateway South in its entirety is a 10-year, $2 billion project. It could bring businesses, jobs, and people to a long neglected and highly visible part of downtown. The work at the site has yet to begin, 
but the vision is well established. See something come to life down here where people can uh, participate in the, in the expansion of downtown is a huge uh, benefit for, I think, the city. Um, but we are really on a roll right now um, and feeling very confident. But, you know, it is, we are in Missouri, so uh, I'll put my money on it, if you will. For Living St. Louis, I'm Jim Kircher.